Sometimes I say things and it doesn't make any sense. Good morning. It is Friday morning and I am getting my packages packaged up and getting ready to go to the shop. It's Friday, so I am going to go live at 10 a.m. Uh, so I've got a lot to do this morning and I just wanted to get on here and do a little bit of a vlog. You can see me in my all my morning gloriness. Gloriness? That doesn't even make sense. This is what I look like in the morning, basically, when I roll out of bed. So I'm going to grab my packages and get them packaged up and get going with my day. I had three things that sold overnight. And as you can see, you've seen this in some of my other videos. I have bins that I keep a lot of my stuff. I have clothing and shoes and bags. Then I also have these shelves in my clo in my closet. Oh, it's early. In my garage that I keep some of the breakables in. And one of the things that sold is this Walker Bach mug with hearts on it. So that has sold. And then I have this tub out here. And then I just, you know, put the stuff in the tub and bring it inside. The other sale that I made overnight was this cute little ornament. This was in a box of that I got from an auction. And it is, it doesn't have any maker's mark on it anywhere, but I thought she was very fantastic. Look, she's got the eyelashes that I love so much. She's holding a little candle in her hand. She's hand blown. Very, very cute 1960s ornament. Just got to the shop. I'm going to walk up, get the doors open, and then go live after I drop all my stuff off. As per usual, I have 15,000 things in my hands. So let's see. Oh, it's dark. All right, I'm gonna drop my stuff off, get the door locked back up again, and get ready to go live. Right now I'm hiding behind a tree because as soon as I turn lights on, I usually get people wanting to come in and I don't open for another hour. So it's always an awkward thing. I mean, I want them to come in, I want them to come back, but they can't come in right now because I'm not ready for them to. Anyway, so getting ready to go live, turned on all the lights, and I think I've told in one of my other live videos what I use on <laughs> turning on all my lights and something that we've discovered and it's a lifesaver are all of these remotes. They are wireless remotes. So you plug in, I think the one that we have, you can plug in two lamps or whatever it is you're plugging in. You can plug in two of them and then you walk in and you just turn on all your lights. And when you leave at the end of the day, you just turn off all your lights. So one thing I am going to do today and I'll show you what I am going to, um, film today is a stack of boxes that my dad has just stacked, stacked, stacked up. I'm going to try to get him down here to go through these, the stuff with me, but I don't know. We'll see, but I'll show you what I'm going to go through here. You can see he stacks up these boxes, but he gets things all nice and clean. He gets things, he just takes them and cleans them up. This is really cool. This is an old fishing lure and made by hidden but normally they have the little hooks on it and I can't tell you if I had a nickel for every time I stabbed myself with the fishing lure I'd be a millionaire but then there's you know just some like little cutesy little things so this is something that I'm going to go through uh here in just a few minutes with you I just got done filming or just going live on my YouTube channel which is where we're at right now Boy, sometimes I say things and it doesn't make any sense but just went live and um, had a lot of fun conversations with people. That's the thing I like about going live. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and the live videos don't, don't tend to do as well for me, but I enjoy them, so I'm going to do them anyway. But um, I have been open for a little bit. I've had one person come in. I think that it's, I think tomorrow will be busy, but I think that a lot of people are shopping for they're in the stores shopping for new things and they're not going to necessarily be shopping for antiques. Although the next couple weekends will probably be good on gift cards. 
so we we tend to tell to sell gift cards pretty good this time of year um so my plans today is to get the rest of these flats um, that dad has bought from the flea market we're going to go through them and i'll go through them with you and then uh, we'll just kind of carry on with our day i may set the tripod up a little bit and just film a little bit of the stuff that i'm doing in the shop today and just to add in as filler we'll see maybe i won't there, there, there may not be a whole lot of people coming in today you never know sometimes so well, let's go ahead and start going through these flats shall we let's do that okay so before i start going through the flats of various smalls as we like to call them um i did get some friend mail so i'm going to open this up it is from cindy warman and cindy has bought a couple things from me before um, and usually always comments on my videos so thank you cindy so let's open this up and sometimes people will let their their mail that they get just get stacked up but not me because i can't stand awake so i'm opening it now cindy lives in texas oh yeah texas okay oh that's misty with santa on the card we'll see if she i'll read the card first before i read it out loud but there's Santa. Um, heartfelt greetings and best wishes at Christmas and throughout the year. It says, Misty, I saw these at our local animal rescue thrift store and immediately thought of you. Um, thought you might be able to use them on your packages next Halloween. <gasps> I'm already excited. Enjoy your friend and sub, Cindy Warman. That's so nice. There's just something special about getting something handwritten. That's kind of a lost thing. Okay, I'm excited to look through these now. Cut these the end of this open. Very ingenious packing too, Cindy, with using manila envelopes. Oh, I love these. These are great. They're little. They're vintage treat bags. You know, like if you were. I always relate these to um, room moms. You know, when your kids were little and you were the room mom and you would plan the, the Halloween parties and the, the little parties. And then you'd stick all the little treats in here. That's what these are for. But these are good to use as package toppers because I can stick my business card in there. I can usually at Halloween, I'll, I'll buy pencils at Dollar Tree. I'll stick a pencil or just some like little fun stuff that I find at the bins. And you can stick them inside that bag and so they're not rummaging around the... the um, the package everywhere so those i love those cindy i love them love them love them and i will definitely be definitely be using these and i'm going to recycle this and use it in some of my shipping things too so that's an added bonus so thank you so much thank you thank you all right i'm gonna put this over here and let me go ahead and get on with this haul. He's been kind of driving me nuts with it because he's, have you gone through the stuff yet? No, um, but I'm going to do that today. Uh, so there's some random things in here. This is a glasses case. It's just a vintage glasses case. I, 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 this I'll put in a dollar box that I have at the shop. And then, oh, this is cute. It's a little, oh, I, it's like, it feels like it's made in Japan. When you start doing this long enough, you can start when you feel a piece of ceramic you know that's made in japan this is just a little um collie and you can see it's stamped japan just a little collie there's no no damage on him he's just a stately stately dog so that's cute this probably i'll put it in the shop i'll probably put three three dollars on it all right this next item is very pretty I'm trying to see if there's any it's a vanity brush. The bristles, well, they're not that great anymore. But it does have this really pretty, no, it's not enamel. It's like a plastic or celluloid on the front of it. Um, this is metal, and it's, it's probably just silver gold painted over metal. I don't think that it's any kind of precious metal at all. Uh, this, I'll probably sell it for $5.00. Or so in the shop then we have just a little rubber car 
Uh, this, I probably, I'll sell it in the shop for $6 or so. I do have a lot of men that come in looking for those vintage car toys. This is heavy. It's a box, looks like a jewelry box or a clock. Oh, no. It's full of various metal things. I think they're like little fobs. Might be, I don't know if it's, it might be a watch. These might be watch fobs, actually. This is pretty neat. What is this? Tin. It's from Texas Tavern in Roanoke, Virginia. Landmark, Landmarks of Virginia, 1938. Kind of looks like a pocket watch fob. I don't know, though. Let me see. So there's that one. I guess there's a whole series. This is the Hotel Roanoke. Landmark number two. So this must have been something that Virginia had done as a little commemorative pieces of different landmarks. So they're, I mean, we'll look these up. They could be, oh, that one's neat. Oh, I'll save that one for last. What is this one? This one is the Calment Club in downtown landmark, New Albany. Okay, this is New Albany, Indiana. It was restored in 2010. Just a little commemorative piece made out of pewter. You can see here it's engraved on the back. I know that my city have do they do these every year. This year it was the um, Bedford downtown Dunn Memorial or Masonic Temple. So they do these Christmas ornaments every year. So it's kind of the same, the same kind of idea as these. I mean that one's 2010, so it's not really vintage, but still it might be a collectible piece. And then I have a, a um, belt buckle. It appears to be made from brass. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, it kind of looks like a fish. Does that look like a fish to you? Like the fish jumping out of the water? It's made from brass. I don't see any, any trademarks on it, but you can tell that it's made from brass. You can see how it's oxidized a little bit there. So there's that. And then this one's this is a case knives vintage belt buckle. So that one's there is highly collectible. These case knife. I have sold like case knife mugs for a decent amount of money. This one's made in the USA. It's a little tarnished, but it still could be, you know, a collectible item. I mean, it could sell in upwards of 15 to 20 dollars. This one I'm really intrigued by. Now, I have not looked through this stuff at all. Dad's been wanting me to look through this stuff. And I said, no, I'm saving it for a video because I like to be, I like my my surprise to be genuine on camera. So I haven't looked through any of this. So I don't know. I haven't looked any of this stuff up to necessarily tell you the exact worth, but just in my guesstimate. This is another fob of some sort, and it is an Airstream camper, which I know is a collectible thing. It's marked Airstream on the back. So I'm not quite sure what these are, what they're used for, but they'll be interesting to look up and see, see what they could be worth. So I will do that today. Set that aside. This looks like a watch case, which these people do collect these. Yeah, it is. This is from the Olympic watch, scientifically built, timed, encased in the USA. There are people that do collect these watch cases. The art, the artsmanship on these or the craftsmanship is very, very nice. It's very art deco um, and they're just, they're, collect, they're collectible. Sometimes people will have a watch, a vintage watch, and they want the original case that goes with it. So they will look these up and try to find them on eBay. It's very pretty. So, kind of looks like a jewel. I'll look that, that up as well. Here is some Psykeen bottle. It's an embossed bottle. It is a fused bottle. And Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. has been schooling me on bottle age identification. And she was telling me that the seams in the bottle can date them sometimes if they go because they didn't have a certain time they didn't have the machining to attach the the top of it and so you can kind of tell where the line stops where they fuse the other glass together so 
she's still teaching me. I just pick up bottles because I like them. This one does have some air bubbles in it. This one is, I mean, it's an antique bottle, definitely. I'll have to look up that. I thought it said psychotic at first, and I may have had to, might have had to keep it if it said that. And I also pulled out this out of the box, and I was filming, and it just stopped. So I'm backtracking a little bit. But do you guys know what this is? It is a cigarette lighter for a car. And I did look at, look at it through the loop as well. And it says it was Sente Corporation, Chicago, Illinois. So there is a market for these. People are looking for these again. So this is something that I, I'll look it up and see. If it's not selling for much, then I probably will just sell it in the shop. Okay, next is a glass doorknob. We do sell these at the shop. Uh, I usually sell them for about three to five dollars a piece, depending on what all hardware is still on them. Um, people will do use these in if they're restoring an old home. They do repurpose them as well. This is a pewter Cummings belt buckle. So these could do these can do very well, these belt buckles. I'll put that with the other one. These intrigued me. They kind of look like they're in a little coffin. These little this little made in Japan, I'm sure, little Dutch boys. Let's see, they could be German, I guess. No, they're Japan. They're marked Japan. And I think that they're exactly the same. They're just these little Japan boys in this box that looks like a coffin. So there's these little guys. These I probably will sell in the shop because they're not worth that much. And I do have some customers that come in that are little Japan knickknack collectors. So they can, when they can grab them out of my little hoarding hands, then they, they'll buy them for me in here. These are neat. What are these? These are really cute. They are little keychains. They look like little telephones. You see there's a pink one, two pink ones, and a gray. And they're flat. Let's see what they say on the bottom. It says, Western Electric Electric Company, Shadeland Works, Open House, 1959. That's really cool that they were kept after all these years. Let me get a little bit closer picture of the pink one because those are the cool ones. So these could be good. They actually could be good. And how easy are those going to be to ship? Super easy. We have a bunch of army men. Now, some of this army men are probably, they might be made by Marks. Um, I, there's not... There are, there is money in some of these old army men. So there's just various ones and you can, you can tell just by the quality of them that they are, they are vintage. The new ones today are really thin and you can basically bend them in half. So we'll see. We've got um, a knight as well. well. We'll look those up. We've got a hot wheel here. Mattel 1975. This one might be a decent one. It's not a red line. And when I say red line, there's usually a red line around the wheels. This one is the Inferno. But the nice thing about Hot Wheels is that they always give you the date. So you can just type in as many adjectives as you can to, to describe it, like Hot Rod, Flame, it's 1978. And you can usually find them that way. This is... Also Mattel, made in Hong Kong, so that is some age to that. It's like a little micro machine. Okay, had some customers come in, so now we're back to the box. Uh, th there's a lot more, you know, action figures here. Donald Duck with no arms. However, he is a little intriguing with my loop, though. Let's see, he feels almost like celluloid. He's Walt Disney production so he is older he almost feels like he's made out of an early plastic or celluloid i'll look him up he's got little swinging legs but he has no arms i don't know we'll see and then jimmy cricket here has no feet so i, I don't know that there's going to be any value in that but he his feet are chewed off he isn't marked he looks like one of those machines that you put money in and they like mold the plastic almost like a 3d printer that you could get at the parks. These are in this little case here. These might be Mark's toys. M-A-R-X. Mark's. And they are collectible. And then we have another box here. 
these are really pretty. Uh, I don't know if that's, I think these are Bakelite handles. They're Bakelite handles. They're just um, butter knives. There's, there's a set of four of them, so that's good. So I probably will list these online. There aren't, there isn't a maker's mark on them, but they are a Bakelite handle. I can tell by feeling it. I know that you And I'm back. Had a little break because I had customers come in. All right, so next we have this box and I've got some uh, vintage cards. This one has a pelican on it, it's a birthday card. This one has a cow on it and it says, another birthday and the old gray mare ain't what she used to be. And you open up and she kicks. Oh. And then we have just some various postcards here. Happy birthday. This one's neat. Congratulations. Um, and it says best wishes for your happiness always on a foil card here. That's pretty. And then we have a yo-yo, the butterfly from Duncan. Not butter, butterflies. Yo-yos can be can be marketable. So these there are collectors that like these yo-yos. And then we have a little quill pen. I do have people coming in and looking for these. So this is something that I'll definitely sell at the shop. Oh, this is a Goebel made in West Germany. So this is an older piece. Oh, it's 1979. It says so right there. A little Goebel duck egg. It's in good condition. And we have some badges, like restaurant badges. That's a local, local restaurant. A little miniature spittoon. That's disgusting. But we've got some glasses and let's see, let's try these on. So we've got these vintage, oh, these are bifocals. So these are gonna be extra special. These vintage glasses, oh my, from the 80s probably. So we got those, oh, the bifocals. And then we have these, these are, aren't these in style now? These big, are those in style now? These are fabulous, these big, um, lenses. I don't think those are prescription. Do you remember? I remember back in the night in the eighties, actually, Claire's boutique used to sell glasses without any prescription. So you could buy glasses and you could pretend like you wore glasses. And I thought it was the stupidest thing because I've worn glasses since I was in kindergarten. And I thought, why on earth would anybody want to pretend that they're wearing glasses? I don't know. Then we have, these are like kind of the coolest pair. And I want to say these are probably vintage from the 50s or 60s sunglasses. They're in a little stretched out condition, but these are kind of cool. I kind of like these. They're sparkly little cat eye glasses. Very stretched out, but still kind of neat. So we've got those. Let me put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, then we have a little wooden box here and it just has little various little trinkets in here. Some little brooches and pins. Um, so kind of cute little, this is from the National Street Club Machine Club Life Member. We'll, we'll pick that up here in a minute. But. And then this is a ribbon or it's a bookmark from it's a memory verse bookmark from the Sabbath school from 1909. Just has little verses on it for each month. That's pretty neat. Another Cummings belt buckle. So that's pretty good. This is its fine pewter. And that's all in this box. So that was, that was fun. These glasses, I know that these can sell online, but I probably will sell, just try to sell them in the shop. Okay, so let's move on to the next box. It's right here. So the first thing we have an Easter 1970, oh, this is Noritake. Easter 1974 Noritake. Oh, it's a little egg. Noritake Bone China Easter Egg in 1974 edition. That was the year before I was born. This is the year that my husband was born, though. 
1974. I was born in 1975. And it's just, it says Nortaki, fourth edition bone China, Japan. I'm sure that there is a collector's market for this. It's in the original box. It's got the paperwork with it. We'll see. It's not something that would sell for me very quickly or maybe not at all in the shop. Then we've got this little, I don't know if it's a corgi, maybe a corgi planter. See, it's a little planter. It's very cute. Anesco, no, what is that? It looks like an Anesco tag. It is made in Japan. Where's the bottom of it? So I probably will, will put about five fifty on this in the shop. And then there's another dog here. This is not a planter. It's just a little, I guess it would be a Boston, a little Boston Terrier, a little French Bulldog maybe. That's pretty cute. And it's marked Japan on the bottom. Again, probably $6 on this little guy in the shop. He's pretty cute. I do have collectors that come in that collect dog figurines. This is another rubber tractor car. I'm trying to see. Sometimes on the inside, you can see the maker's mark. Yeah, it's right here. I'm back again. More customers, which is a good thing, right? So this is, this tractor is made, I kind of looked it up while we were on our little break. So this tractor is made by the Auburn Rubber Company. That's what I couldn't think of earlier. That little car was probably also Auburn. These are pretty collectible. There are people who collect these Auburn toys. So I also have these little jello molds. People like to buy these little aluminum jello molds to, you know, repurpose them, make little crafts out of them. And um, I sell these in the shop for $2 a piece. So there was two more of these in dad's box of goodies. Um, and then there was this cloisonne. And what cloisonne is, is this kind of metal pieces. And they have this enamel filigree on it, I guess. But it's called cloisonne. It's a French term, although these were made in China. So I don't think these are fabulous, but it's still a good example. So we've got the vase and a little trinket jar and a little matchbook holder all in the cloisonne. And I think this might be brass. See there, looks like brass to me. So this is pretty. It's a very pretty piece. You can see the enamels coming off a little bit on the bottom there. But cloisonne in dad's box of tricks. of a unboxing I guess if you will and of some of the things that dad has bought um, and a little bit of a vlog of my morning I'm going to um, continue to do these every once in a while and um, I'm really trying to make more content here at the store as well so leave a comment below if there are certain things that you want me want to see me do here at the shop things that you might be curious about and it gives me ideas of some content that you guys would like to see. So I know that people like hauls and unboxings, so I wanted to go ahead and get that done for you. Hey, everybody always wants to see Dad. There's Dad and Luke. Luke also is an antique dealer. He sets up at the White River Antiques where I just filmed a video at. And Stuff Luke that you thought was neat in these boxes. I haven't got... These I didn't go through, so maybe you should show these. Well, I wish he had his ears. His ears. He is made in Japan. And he does work. He does work. And then, of course, I know you like the little... The little bunnies. These are mine. It's a rabbit. A bunny rabbit. And a oh, little chick. I have this one in pink. 
So now I have a yellow one. I put these out at Easter on my. <gasps> oh, oh, he's broken. <laughs> yeah, he does work, but he's he's missing. Oh, he's a little. Too good. Man. He's a little. <laughs> well, a little gimpy. Well, look at him. He's he's got a name on him too. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's Japan, so he is old. He is old. He has an old bull thing. Here's Garfield. That's not Garfield. That's a troll. It's a troll. newer troll from the 90s. It probably has a jewel in its belly. Yep. Made in China. He's not new new. Oh, I remember these. You... Yep. You put water in it and you can make it. Bubbles. No, it's, it makes it sound like a bird. Dad, Dad's treasures. We went through his treasure trove of boxes. Oh, yeah, that's for your little miniature gun. Yeah, but it's from uh, here, Bedford. No, it's not. Read back on it. It's from Pontiac, Michigan. <laughs> that's what I said, Pontiac, Michigan. Now, that's again, I'm getting thought. ready to end this if video. I was squirting with water. If I'm getting ready to end this video. What should people do? Shop at Lowe's. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like? Like, sus no, wait a minute. Let me think. Like and comment. Comment and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. And say hi, Emma. Hi. Hi, Emma. All right. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in our bye. next video. Say bye. Bye.